so Splatoon 3 has some really good weapon kits in this game. But with future updates, we know that they're probably going to add even more kits to go along with already existing weapons. So I wanted to share some of my ideas of what kits I think that could be really good in this game. Also on Twitter, I asked you guys to reply with some kits that you would want to see in the game. So I'm going to be sharing those alongside with my ideas. So the first weapon that I want to talk about was one of my favorite Splatoon 2 weapons, the Octo Brush. Even though I haven't been using it that much in this game, I'm still excited to see what kind of kits it could get. I think that a good old torpedo or an auto bomb could really help with the Octo Brush's slaying ability, as both those subs are really good for checking corners and, and tracking opponents. And for the sp Special, I have to say that Trizuka or Ultra Stamp could be really good to help keep on that pressure on the enemies, which is what the Octobrush loves to do already. And for one of the kits that you guys suggested is this one that says Slosher with Suction Bomb and Crab. Now that sounds like it would be really good. I know that the Splatoon 2 Slosher had Suction Bomb and one of them had Baller and, you know, Crab is kind of like a baller but with, you know, guns. Now for the next kit that I think would be nice, I was thinking if we gave the Squiffer either Suction Bomb or Auto Bomb, kind of like how it is in Splatoon 2, and then having it follow up with a Zip Caster. Now I think that this would be really interesting to see because Swiffer has a normal charge time when jumping. It could really help it do some damage and make itself known. And I just think that that kit sounds really fun all around. And apparently I'm not the only one that thought that because someone had pretty much the exact same idea that I had. I don't know, Nintendo, you might have, you might have to hop onto this idea. All right, now I wanna talk about one of the new weapons in Splatoon that doesn't get much love. The Splatana Wiper could be a really good match with Splat Bomb and Inkjet. I see a lot of people's complaints about the Splatana Wiper being that it just doesn't feel powerful enough. It doesn't feel like it can get kills as easily as some of the other frontline weapons can. So I feel like giving it a good lethal bomb and a good lethal special could really help with that. And this one suggests that either Splattershot Pro or Dooley Squelchers should get Burst Bomb and Tenta Missiles or Reef Slider. I feel like those kits are pretty interesting and with Reef Slider and Burst Bomb could really kind of change how the weapons are played. So that could be interesting to see too. For my personal pick for the Dynamo Roller, which was one of my favorite weapons in Splatoon 2, I think it could do great with splash walls. The reason for this is because Dynamo Roller can just get crazy bullied by any Charger player, so I feel like if it had a splash wall to place, it could still, you know, it could still stay in a really, in a pretty good defensive position and still do what it has to do without having to worry about getting dropped by any charger that looks at it funny. <laughs> and as for specials, I think it could be an interesting match with either Inkback to help defend the team, maybe like the Rainmakers being carried or making a Clam Blitz push, or I think it could also be pretty good with Wave Breaker to help it get a little bit of extra chip damage in and mark enemies. And this one says that Splattershock should get paired with either Splat Bombs or burst bombs, and then a good old triple ink strike to back it up. Now, I really like the idea of this one because it still has a lot of good frontline potential, but all it can also but can also play a little bit of support with the triple ink strike, kind of like this Kento Splatter Shot back in Splatoon 2. Okay, guys, one of my all-time favorite weapons in Splatoon 2 was the Cherry H3 Nozzle Nose. Oh my goodness, I loved that thing. And I kind of wanted to have something a little similar if it didn't return back in Splatoon 3. So I think that it could be a good pair with either ink walls or toxic mist. Ink walls because that's kind of a staple on the cherry weapons. Or toxic mist because, you know, it could be really easy to get that one burst kill if the enemies are slowed down with the toxic mist. I think it could be an interesting pairing. I think it could, might be interesting to have it with Ink Storm. Even though Ink Storm is kind of viewed as one of the weaker specials, I think it could pair well with the Nozzle Noses because the Ink Storm could do some good chip damage and then you could follow up with just maybe a two burst instead of a three. Or Triple Ink Strike could be interesting on it too. And this one says a Dynamo should get Angle Marker and Wave Breaker. Now I kind of like the idea of this because sometimes Dynamo just doesn't be killing in one hit and a quick Angle mar Marker shot could finish off a weak enough enemy or just mark them and make it easier to spot. And with the dynamo being able to fling over walls really easily, having a marked enemy could be really helpful for it. Okay, so Splat Brella is a really cool idea for a weapon. I feel like something that holds it back though is that it does have a lot of weaknesses. 
I feel like having it with a lethal bomb such as splat bombs could be really nice for it to help close the gap on some enemies. And I think that it could be really good with inkjet because with inkjet, sometimes I could struggle to approach some backline weapons and having a good inkjet there just to take them out really quickly can be really good for it. All right, so this one says dynamo roller with burst bomb and booyah bomb or e-leader with squid beacon and zip caster. Okay, so for the dynamo, I'm always for dynamo getting booyah bomb. I, I loved that in Splatoon 2. It was so nice. And okay, I gotta say that e-leader kit sounds super fun and sounds like that just seems really fun to use. So I'd be excited to try that one out if that got added too. Okay, I've been really enjoying the Splatana Stamper a lot and I really like the kit that it was given. So it was kind of hard to think of something for this one because I genuinely think that, you know, they really hit the nail with its current kit. So I thought that Maybe giving it auto bomb or curling bomb. Curling bomb just to help it with mobility. And a trizuka could be interesting because long range pressure. It could be nice. Okay, right off the bat, I already liked this reply. Splash wall plus trizuka splat roller. Dude, I loved the Koro Koro splat roller in Splatoon 1. And the rest of them are really solid too. Range Blaster with Crab Tank could be really cool. Splat Dooleys with Zip Caster. I'd love to see some Dooleys with Zip Caster. And Splatana Wiper with Auto Bomb and Crab Tank. That's- all these sound like 10 out of 10. I like all of these. All right, so for my next one, I have to say that the Reflux's main weapon is so fun if you learn how to use it. And it's kind of a shame that it's kind of become known as just the missile spam weapon. So I thought, what if we give it more of a support hybrid kit with giving it squid beacons? Reflux can constantly be moving around the map. You're gonna be moving your position a lot anyway so that you can properly space out those shots. So you might as well have a squid beacon with you. That can be nice for support. And the next one, I say, why not just give it Reef Slider? You know, Reef, Lux, Reef Slider. I just think it would fit perfectly. And also give it some offensive capabilities. And this one says Dynamo Roller with Inkjet and Burst Bomb. Okay, I've noticed a lot of these replies really want Dynamo Roller to have Burst Bomb. And I have to admit, that would really help its killing capabilities. And Inkjet on Dynamo Roller would be interesting for the same reason why I would give it walls. You know, to deal with those back lines that it sometimes struggles against. So I'm all for that. I, I like that. All right, guys, try Stringer with any seeking sub, I'm telling you, any seeking sub, point sensor, line marker, auto bomb, torpedo, anything like that. I think that could be good for it because holy smokes, like specifically more line marker and point sensors because if you guys have never used thermal ink on this weapon, holy smokes, you can hit some crazy shots from over walls. And I think if we just had it with point sensors or something like that, that could just really make it really scary to face against. And I think that Booyah Bomb would be a good pairing for it to help with its support capabilities. And this one with the NZAP plus Splat Bombs and Ink Zooka, that sounds solid, especially for a weapon that's kind of more support orientated. I think that this will help it in more ways than one. All right, so I have a ton of more ideas and I got a ton more suggestions from you guys, but I think I'm gonna save that for a part two because this video is getting a little long. Yeah, make sure to leave more comments on what kind of kits you wanna see and I might add yours to the next video or maybe even a part three if if I get that many responses so <laughs> just fire away yeah thank you guys for watching and I do have a discord server if you want to join that and I also have a twitter that you can follow as well so yeah bye